Hey guys, what is going on? It is Leiden here from Tech Focus, yes. And how yesterday Tyler talked about the new Zen architecture coming out for AMD. I'm going to be talking about Intel's 7th generation, which is codename Cabby Lake series coming out for Intel. Now, I hope you guys stay tuned and enjoy this video. And this is Leiden from Tech Focus, yes. Intel is coming out with their 7th generation of processors, so I'm just going to give you guys the heads up of what's going to be going into this. So, as you guys can see, um, Intel is deciding to do, they are taking the same step like they did with the uh, 6th gen, like the 670K and the 6600K, like those processors for uh, Skylake. They are still going to be sitting on the 14 nanometer process node, so that is taken in fact. So they will be on 14 nanometer and they will still be on socket LGA 1151 and well there is enthusiast uh, 95 watt options included so you're looking at still the same socket and the nan and same um, process of uh, 14 nanometer so that that's quite interesting um, they're gonna have the 200 series chipset so that's new they're going to be sitting on that and really what I'm looking at is so some of these new processors are going to have 24 PCIe lanes so that's for your graphics card more guys so like how many PCIe lanes some take up to 4 to 8 depending on the graphics card you have and so that's for SLI and stuff like that so just looking at stuff like that in general so here's kind of a Cabby Lake um, SKUs so there's basically um, quad core stuff like that, Cabby Lake, desktop, mobile. There's mobile and the desktop processors. So this is just all a bunch of stuff shown for you guys. And then Skylake S, S, and S, and then C is that probably. I'm assuming Skylake C here is actually the i7-670K, but this is going to be. Um, th this looks interesting. Four plus two cores. So is. It's uh, four cores with two more logical, like that's that's kind of confusing to me in my opinion. So what you guys are going to be expecting, so with Cabby Lake, uh, Cabby Lake, the processors will be getting an increase in core performance like you've guys seen over the years from all the way from Linfield all the way up to now to uh, Skylake. Even in Haswell and stuff like that, you guys have seen um, just small 5 to 10 to 20 um, imp um, increase in core performance. They have increased, obviously, in the nanometer architecture. We're using Now they're using 14 nanometer FinFET. So that's interesting to know. But otherwise, yeah, it's just going to be like out of all the other years because even... R original i5s like an i5 670 Linfield architecture still has extremely good performance of what an i5 6600K would have today comparing the two you're not going to get much more FPS really so in my opinion all these Intel like all the Intel's over the years have gotten better in their own significant way so they've just bumped up core uh, performance so you're just getting slightly stronger cores in my opinion so what we're gonna get on to here so this is on Wikipedia so here's just the architecture so it's gonna be sitting on 14 nanometer like I've already covered and LGA 1151 socket 200 series chipset thermal design power 95 watts um, you're gonna be looking at so this is this is what I thought was extremely interesting, guys. If you guys can read this right, right here, it says it supports both DDR3 and DDR4 and DDR and SDR RAM and SD SD RAM. So there is actually a very that's that's very interesting. So this card, these CPUs are going to be. Uh, supporting DDR3 and DDR4 RAM guys that's that's actually 
That's very interesting. I'm not sure how, how they're going to make the motherboards for that. So there's going to be different motherboards. One's going to be DDR3, one's going to be DDR4, but they're all going to be on LGA 1151 platform. Support for Thunderbolt 3, 64 to 120 uh, megabytes of level 4 ED RAM cache. So that is very new, guys. Holy shit. 64 to 128 megabytes of ED RAM cache. 64 and even maxing out at 128 megabytes and new level 4 fucking cache, guys. I'm sorry for swearing, but that's insane, guys. That's ridiculous and insane of cache. I remember back in the day when my, com like when my father's computer didn't even have 64 gigs of RAM. And now you're talking about cache in a processor having up, up to 128 megabytes of level 4 cache. That's insane, guys. So, I'm just really... What makes me really, really in, intrigued in all this is... So, as soon as AMD comes out with the Zen architecture, I'm, I'm going to be... I'm going to be thinking that the Zen architecture is going to be aimed, is very, going to be very high, like, you can be able to game with it for sure and stuff, but I see that Intel stepped up again to level 4 cache, so that's, that's something a, uh, AMD doesn't have, I think, they're still on level 3 cache, and I would assume that 64 to 128 megabytes cache up from 64, not even it's cash up from 30 probably those uh, processors are probably going to be new Xeon processors for server and workstation loads and stuff like that so that's that's very interesting though I thought so this supports level there's level 4 cache that that's that's been very interesting to me and they are continuing on from 14 nanometer and it it's it's a sub see it's a successor to the Skylake micro architecture so it's kind of a continuation of Skylake but it's um th there's gonna be um, a core increase five percent five to ten percent uh, core increase so that's that's new and it's on times eighty six architecture so as you guys can see here off to the side uh the successor is gonna be Cannon Lake so that's that's gonna be new. So Cannon Lake, wow. So that's going to be their next architecture. I'm not going to get into stuff like that, guys. I just wanted to show you guys what Cabby Lake has to offer, like what Tyler said about Zen. So, yeah, that that's uh, that's pretty interesting, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys really like this video, you guys know what to do. Slap that like button. Um, I've been hearing that people... Um, have noticed like different editing transitions and stuff like that in between uh, differences in videos that's because Tyler edits his videos and I edit my own videos and for both of us if we do a video together we just decide who edits it but yeah if you guys look at the thumbnails and they seem different it's like Ooh, this person uses a lot of this that's because I make my own thumbnails and Tyler makes his own but yeah, that's that's the differences we've had lately. But if you guys really like this video, you guys know what to do. You guys gotta slap that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, get subscribed to Tech Focus Yes. And I will see you guys in the next video. And for now, peace.